Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Passe Bowler here. We are now on the fourth game for this February 17 NBA Game Day edition. We have now reached this game between Washington Wizards and Denver Nuggets. All right. Um, now, before we start, as always, I'm just inviting everyone who have not uh, subscribed and joined our YouTube channel yet, Passe Baller, to please bash on that subscribe button below. And also, please include that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be informed as soon as we have a new video up. All right. Uh, so let's take a look at the standings first. As always, uh, Denver Nuggets uh, versus Washington Wizards. Let's start with the Washington Wizards. They are a part of the Eastern Conference. They're at number uh, 14. But the good thing about Washington Wizards is that they're starting to figure out how to win. Matter of fact, uh, uh, going to this game, they are actually enjoying back-to-back -back wins. So uh, an improvement is an improvement. So I got to give kudos to Washington Wizards. Now for Denver Nuggets, um, they're at number 7 of the Western Conference with 15 wins and 12 losses. Approaching to this game, they have just lost uh, last night um, and that was against Boston Celtics. Um, a lot of players are not available for Denver Nuggets last night. Um, and the same scenario um, would be applied going to this game. So we'll see what, we, you know, what our decision would be on, on as to where we would be placing our bets. Okay, let's take a look at the details of this game. This one would be played at Washington, um, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 9 a.m. Manila. A spread given is plus 3.5 uh, for Washington, and for Denver Nuggets, minus 3.5, obviously. So um, let's take a look at uh, those advantages first that um, each team has. Obviously, for Washington Wizards, they have the home court advantage. And for uh, um, Washington Wizards, they are also enjoying uh, the fatigue factor. Um, because, again, Denver Nuggets just played last night. And they could really, Washington Wizards could really ex ex exploit this. Because Denver Nuggets played last night. And Denver Nuggets, they didn't have a lot of players available. Meaning, a lot of those players last night played a lot of minutes so approaching this game uh, some of those legs must be really tired so we'll see so two points already for Washington Wizards um, the home court advantage and the fatigue factor let's see what else do they have so let's take a look at uh, the injuries uh, of both teams well for uh, Washington Wizards of course Thomas Bryant and Anthony Gill they're still not there um, and for Isha Smith uh, he's actually a Point guard off the off the bench, who is also uh, who is a huge contributor for Washington Wizards. Unfortunately, um, he would still not be available due to his quad injuries, and uh, he has missed the past two games of Washington Wizards. Um, unfortunately for the Wizards, they have been winning even without him. Now for Denver Nuggets, let's take a look. Well, these are the same people that I've seen the last time out that I created a video for Denver Nuggets. Uh, well, first off, those who are ruled out already would be um, Greg Whittington, PJ Dozier, and Gary Harris. So those three are already ruled out for this game. Now, for those questionable for this game will be uh, Paul Millsap, Monty Morris, and Will Barton. Even though they are still not ruled out, highly likely they would still not be joining the game so we'll see but again these are uh the players who could really change the uh the story of the game ha had they been available say last night against boston celtics so uh we'll see what our decision would be going to this game against washington wizards um honestly this is this is tough this is hard because um as mentioned earlier Washington Wizards um, is playing at home. They are actually um, from rest, so they are well rested. While Denver Nuggets lost last night, um, they played a lot of minutes. Um, Jokic played 37 minutes. Gary Harris played 33 minutes. No, nothing that I could ask for more from those two. Uh, 43 points, I guess, for Jokic. 25 points, I guess, for Harris. So they did what they need what they needed to do it's just that uh, you know they lacked support now going to this game i don't see um i don't see 
a different story. It's just that they would have a different opponent. Um, I'm not sure if Jokic would still be able to, uh, to score 43 points. Or if Gary Harris would be able to score 25 points. Because again, they played last night. Um, they would certainly need those two to step up still. But again, uh, for Washington Wizards, we all know that they got two great scorers who could actually match up with those two. Um, I'm talking about Bradley Beal and uh, Russell Westbrook. Now, the advantage for Washington Wizards is, again, they are well-rested. And uh, they could actually um, deal with those uh, bench players who would be playing for Denver Nuggets. So, uh, let's just say Bradley Beal and uh, oh, who's this? Uh, Westbrook would just uh, cancel would just cancel out the output, scoring output of Jokic and um, uh, Gary Harris, uh, the Washington Wizards would still have their rookie, Denny um, Bertans. They have this uh, Japanese dude, Drewy Hachimura. Robin Lopez is starting to also score, and he could also help in trying to at least contain um, what call this, uh, Jokic. Plus, uh, Wagner is also there, their forward center. So, um... And they've been winning, so I'm pretty sure that they are a bit confident coming to this game. Obviously, Denver Nuggets is is the better team. That's a no-brainer, but I'm taking my chances with uh, Washington Wizards here. Uh, but I gotta be at least uh, um, safe, so I'm gonna take the plus. So my pick on this one would be Washington Wizards plus 3.5. All right, again, Washington Wizards plus 3.5. And let's just see if Washington Wizards can exploit uh, the fatigue that Denver has, and um, we'll see if uh, if they would be uh, if let's see if Denver could also stop Bradley Beal's hot shooting. All right, so stay there for those who are waiting for the other videos. We are working on him, and we will be uploading him ASAP. Peace out, Paso love, and God bless.